Yo, what's up? We're going now. You done on the Big Man Rest Books Live and on the building. One thing for the one thing. Count cool, count quench. Welcome back to my channel. And today, finally, the video is here. Alright. It's all about the bands. The bands, the bands, the bands. Um, as you guys know, the bands are sort of like part of Rest Bookie. You know what I mean? Um, Throughout the years, okay, wait, let's go back. So this is us. Okay, so today is a story time video about the bands, or at least the wrist in general, because it been a lot of bands on this on on, on, on this forearm right here telling you. Um, it been a lot, but it been some that made it a long way and some that didn't make it a long way. So here's the story. So in 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 time or in traveling. Um, it just sort of was like a collection, sort of was like a thing, like, we used to have this thing back home called Black Power, right? Black Power. Yes, sir, Black Power. Alright, so, it was pretty much, you know the oil filter that you change your car with? The like oil filter, and it got black band inside of it? We used to collect those as a kid, and wear them around, and it was called, quote unquote, Black Power. So, this legend dates back to, this is back in St. Croix. This dates back to years, over 30, yeah, literally over 30 years now. Um, that bands have been a thing for me. It just didn't start when they came out with this, because bands, it always been that. Then it went into bracelets, which I'm not wearing a bracelet right now. But it went into bracelets, but literally, this is something cost efficient. Well, it was for free, because you just used to collect the black power bands. I'm sorry, the oil filler bands and put it on it. all different shapes and sizes. It was it was the coolest thing, and we still want. But only problem is you have to clean it with bleach because it smell like oil, right? Um, so that's how they 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 that's how it started from way back then. Now how the D started, it was a transition zone. Just as you know, when we go into time, stuff to change. Well, you left those which I was still collect. I just ain't gonna go, go. I'm just not gonna go out there and collect any um oil fitter bands right now because I ain't have a need because this one's cut these ones have words on it you know so I could send a message I could send a message through without even saying a word just by the wrist again you know this is a powerful this right here is a powerful gesture it says a lot of things peacefully too as well as you guys been seen on the, on the channel um, so we just gonna break down a couple of things but that's how the wrist game started at one point during university I'm not sure which part of university but this whole wrist was filled and honestly I never buy a band <laughs> I never bought one band which is the funniest thing so you say how did you get all those bands Mr. Russ books well it's like people fans friends family M one man lost it I found it as a treasure um, it's just something it's literally a simple rubber band thick rubber band and um, and rubber bands was a thing too I used to put rub I used to have a fro I used to have rubber bands all the time so I could pull it back in and just oh man those were the days but this channel right well at least this video here is talking about these bands but it is a story time because I wanted you guys to really understand how these here came to you check all right so um, yeah, so like I said, it went through time. This whole wrist will fill up at one point during university. And like I said, I never paid for any bands in particular. And they just came about and it was just like, if somebody seen you with a band, you became part of that culture. Like that was your click. Like y'all was, y'all share something, even if you didn't even ever speak to them. So that was one important thing that came out about the bands or just, People, I went to um, a seminar and, and, and um, I went to listen to a speaker at Cornell um, University in Ithaca. And I don't remember what the lady is, but she said something really cool and it made sense. She said something about we as people always find groups or you, you always find yourself associated with something. She called, she used the word clumping and she said, she was like, stop looking at the audience right now and look who's next to you and whatever. And pretty much that came through what well, your friends, your friends usually came through the color of your skin or what you look like or just whatever it is. And that really made sense to me at that day, which was probably about six, seven years ago.
But it was cool because as I look back, we all try to associate ourselves with some type of group. By default, that's just who we are as humans. We just associate ourselves with people who look like us, sound like us, or just whatever it is. Anything that just find your similarity in something that find yourself as a clumper. All right. So my clumping group is the rubber band, the band crew, bands making ants, or look at the flick of the wrist, something like that. Right. So. My aunt, we're going to go down some of these as you see in the picture because um, it's not in the correct order. But the first one I'm going to go through, which I mean this video is probably going to be a long time because this is definitely a story time video. Alright, so the first set I'm going to go through, which this is the only set that's actually on the wrist, is um, it's called Think Positive, Be Positive, uh, and Live Positive. It's from one of, at least he used to be one of our um, senators back in the Virgin Islands, Senator Positive Nelson. So check. And this one says, positive is how I live. And this is the one, I think positive, be positive, live positive. And why these ones are special, my aunt actually gave this to me. And for a long time, it hasn't been somebody look like me in government. And this was a representation of that guy. Uh, let's just say he's a Rastaman in government that looks like you. And you know, sometimes you're really not a part of a group or get something done until somebody really looks like who you are or fo follow your particular type of dreams or agendas. And not saying anything about marijuana or anything because that's what originally what people would associate with Rastafarian. But literally, the message was cool. Think positive, live Think positive, be positive, and be positive. Positive is how I live. That's his message, that's his campaign, and he used it very well. And he, my aunt, who's by far no part of, she's a, no part of Rastafarian, she felt like she gave this to me, and that was cool. And this is years ago. And still, he's not a senator now, to so let you know how long it's been. He's a um, commissioner, actually, of agriculture. Um, at least until this video he might change because election time coming up but anyways this is what it is and not that i represent him but i represent the message which is true and that's you know from Ras books it'll always be a positive type of thing because i saw my channel to be a check so that's how that is all right i'm only gonna i wanted to save the best for the last but i'm pretty sure that you guys probably skipped through so much of the video already and this is the most specialist one on there because it says literally what my title says one time for the one time and I have expressed one time for the one time in a lot of in one of my particular videos but I think I'm gonna have to use one I'm gonna have to use one time for the one time video alone as a channel to let you guys know because really that's how the channel is really that's the foundation of the channel one time for the one time so i would express to someone in simpler terms that yolo you only live once it's kind of similar but it's like a very low low like level one grade one of what one time for the one time really means but on the back of this it says memories never expire and that's exactly what it is. So it's like one time for the one time. They don't know the big one. Rats books live and at the building. Hey, um, memories never expire, man. And it's really true. Well, until you get a certain age and then you just start to try to make up particular memories or can't remember. But anyways, they never expire. And those are the things of experiences where those memories sometimes, whether if it's on this side or on this side, I'm not saying positive. Or negative but it's a memory in general it's something boy oh boy let me tell you you guys know how many videos you guys can imagine how many just imagine every day of life is a memory yes and doing something amazing in that one day even if it's the beginning part where you just like look and brush my teeth with some charcoal toothpaste that's a moment and those are one of those moments in here where it can literally be happening like that but it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a higher meaning of it and we'll come back to this on another video your boy rest books one time for the one time hey <laughs> all right then we have one that says uh, this is um this is a tobacco free 
Um, it's called Keep It Fresh, right? You guys probably seen the hat. I would think I was in Bogota coming back or whatever. Um, it's called Empire, Fresh Empire. Well, the thing is, tobacco free. I ain't a tobacco person. Um, I'm not saying the people who use it out there, I'm against it. It's just, I'm not a tobacco person. And that's it. So, literally simple. Keep it free. Tobacco free. Live tobacco free. Um, that's pretty much it on that one. This one is from the runner. Literally, glow in the dark. It expired in the message, but... Yeah, the runner, blowing the dark message, literally. All right, now this one is very unique for those out there who can be or could not be religious. But it's Matthew 7 7. And what do Matthew 7 7 says? It's very important because, as part of the one time for the one time movement, because I'm gonna, listen, yeah, I have a movement now. Yes, there it is. I just said it. So now come what you want. All right, so it's, um, ask and it will be given to you seek and you will seek and you will find and knock on the door and it shall be open it's matthew 7 7 which is a very important message that i got from somebody now mind you I just just in time i just received these from just just receiving them and it was true it's literally like bro like like bro sis yo whatever your intentions is just go for it man like knock on the door see what's going on envision something and you will find it out like don't hold back we're, we're literally human you're a person i'm a person no matter what your title is go for that heck then man like i was on a phone call two days ago on a very high representative and i shared with the individual a passion a dream a vision and mind you this is like I just knocking on the door to the highest, one of the highest person within the organization. And it was like, well, sorry, like, who, who are you? Like, what, like, like, what? Like, how you just get them here? Like, how you get a meeting just to here? Well, you just go ahead and find out the thing. Like, just go ahead and do it. Now, I do understand the hierarchies and the way of doing things, but freak that in mind. Sometimes you just don't gotta mess with the middle. You gotta go straight to the man or to the woman in this case. And tell them what the situation is and not from that conversation oh my goodness you got hey we have big things coming up on this channel I hey, telling you all right let me just check oh wait wait hold on let me just check this all right cuz y'all know something been messing up with that camera they've been actually messing around your check and the last part now mind you I had a different one for last which was the one time for the one time but this one is black votes matter right um, well I guess I can just ride the wave on the black movement um, the black lives matter movement because well why the heck not um, it do really matters and the reason why it do matters is that as an individual you do have a right and at least you have <laughs> at least you have that particular right to do and i feel that if you can talk about it you can do something about it and that comes within a vote um and i actually through my whole life i went through many different type of elections and votes and just the vote in general and know how important it is for a lot of these situations that you guys have been seeing came off of a vote where I was happen to be that particular person to do that those, those particular things so that's why it matters and that's why voting is so important because you actually have a chance and opportunity now Brandon I would do right you can do whatever whoever is whatever the section is but if you don't vote then shut your mouth <laughs> pretty much because you had your chance even if you win or not, but still, that's how the thing goes. Now, these particular two are chiropractors in the Virgin Islands. Um, it's an art. One of them is trade, one the other one is paradise. Um, but honest and truly, I actually use these for rubber bands in my hair. <laughs> so they actually have other meanings too. But hey, why the heck not? You guys just got some free advertisement just now at the end of the video. There it is. Hoop, there it is. Um, 
But yeah, man, this is your boy Ras Books, and I just wanted to share with you guys how the story. What my wrist actually lighter now, boy. Actually, I'm gonna take everything off just so you can see how my wrist look without a band on it. And this is a VIP. Not that shit. Oh,